thanks for coming. I'm pleased you could join me. Especially since it much must have been a long journey to this coffee shop in such a remote rural part of town. I know it looks a bit empty, but this is actually busy for our local standards. But I know you didn't come here just to talk about how coffee shop is doing. You wanted information on the lead I gave you, right? About the vampire? Now just to make sure again, you're serious, aren't you? When I first caught wind of you, that you were some self-proclaimed vampire hunter, it was hard to take at face value. Anyone would assume you were just some kind of role player, especially with how popular vampires are in media and whatnot. So you have to overlook my skepticism. Fortunately for you, I know that vampires do exist. I've seen them. That's why I was able to take you seriously. Well, somewhat seriously. The thing is... Vampires are very powerful, and however powerful you think they are, they're even more powerful than that. From lifting cars, all the way over their heads, to running quickly enough to catch up to motorcycles, to shrugging off bullets, there's a lot they can do. And I'm not sure that there's much you can do against them. So what is it you actually intend to do, hmm? Hmm, what's your plan? How are you going to stop them? Because I don't really see much of a way for you to face them. You have to try anyway. (laughs) You're not a very good vampire hunter, are you? Seriously, what are you going to do? Say, for instance, I was a vampire. What would you do against me, hmm? How would you stop me? Do you have some more of that? Oh, what do they call magic bullets? Some sort of holy water and a water gun or something? Oh, you need to get something from your bag. (laughs) That's it? That little thing? A crossbow that shoots a wooden stake. You- I can't believe it. You barely even sharpened the stake. It's so dull. Saying you're not a very good vampire was a bit of an understatement. Oh well. At least it's cute. There really isn't anything you can do against me then. What do I mean by that? Oh, now you're catching on. Normally I just tease you, and just give you a subtle hint. But I think that might actually go over your head. So I'll just say it plainly. Why do you think I invited you all the way here? Out to the middle of nowhere? Sounds a lot like a trap, doesn't it? Like one a vampire would pull. I assumed you were just coming along anyway. Knowing it was... A a trap of some sort with an ace up your sleeve. But it seems you actually were that clueless. Now, if you haven't caught along yet, yes, I am a vampire. Look at you. Freezing up. (laughs) What happened to all that? I have to try anyway. That sort of talk earlier you had going on. You're adorable. Oh, do you think I'm not going to do anything to you? (laughs) Really? Really? Oh, you poor, poor thing. You really underestimate me. (laughs) Everyone, get out. Stand by the doors and windows. Now it's just you and me. Surprised? They are my thralls. Everyone in this town is my thrall. 
you see well other than you. For now, you see well, well other than you. I wouldn't run if I were you. I could sprint to the end of the room before you even left your seat. In fact, I wouldn't even need to sit up to take you out. I could throw a coin with enough force to pierce your skull and with enough precision to hit a bird in flight. So why don't we just have a little talk? It's been so long since I've had any sort of good company. To talk to you know, the thralls aren't very interesting. Nothing in this sleepy little hamlet is, other than you. It just so happens that I've known about you for far, far longer than just before I contacted you. A vampire has to look out for their own safety, after all. I might be immortal, but you don't live as long as I do, without keeping tabs on all potential threats. And I suppose, maybe, you count as a threat. Well, okay. Not really. You've proven yourself to be toothless. It's actually quite charming. It's so nostalgic. There aren't, v uh, well, many or any vampire hunters these days. No one believes in us anymore. Much to their detriment. I think you might be the only one. You're intriguing, I must admit. I haven't had any real entertainment in decades. Fighting vampire hunters was the only real spice in my life. But they're all gone now, except for you. He reminded me of the time. My life actually had some thrill in it. And true, you're not particularly a skilled vampire hunter. Once again, that's an understatement. But that's actually quite fitting. It adds to the nostalgia. <laughs> mm, yes. The other hunters weren't very competent either. <laughs> they kept on getting scams by conmen, selling fake holy water. And it's because of that nostalgia that the highlight of my lonely nights was all about stalking you, watching you go, well, go about your day-to-day -day life. Scaring the internet for any leads on vampires. Asking questions to all the wrong people. Absolutely adorable. Not that I was stalking you anyway. I can assure you. Just in a tactical sort of way, you know. To keep an eye on you. To see what ways you might be able to threaten me. I promise, really. That aside, I have taken an interest in you. Bask in the honor. So without further ado, you are mine now. Here, take my hand. We'll be going to my estate. And I'm sure even if it was next door, you would get lost without holding my hand. <laughs> You're honestly pointing that little toy at me. You know it's not going to do anything right. I could... Shrug off. Getting hit by a truck. Your dull little stick isn't going to do anything. It's not going to be any good at penetrating me at all. But tell you what. If you'd like, I can, as I can expose my chest. Give you a clear shot straight to my heart. So you can see how futile it really is. But seriously, your resistance is pointless. You're in front of a vampire. In a town existing exclusively of my thralls. You're done. Give up. Well, I do admire it a bit. That you're willing to throw your life away. Just... For the moment, for the opportunity to face me. 
But what about the lives of your loved ones? Your friends and family? That's right. I've been watching you this entire time. I know everything about you. Oh, yes. I know who you spend your time with, who you talk to, who you laugh with. And oh, how I hate how you talk and laugh with others. So it wouldn't really be much of an issue for me if I removed them from the picture. And if you refuse me, oh, if you refuse me, if you rejected my kind and generous offer, to take you in well, to be honest. It's a demand. It's an order. It's not a question. It's not just a simple request. It is a command. But if you did reject me, I wonder just how far my retaliation would reach. <laughs> oh, that's what I like to see. The sight of you putting your hands up in surrender. It makes me want to bite down on your neck. Right now, but I'll have to restrain myself for now, unfortunately. Right now, I'm eager enough to crush it. I wouldn't want you dying on me. No, 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 no. I can't have that happen. You're going to give me such entertainment, after all. You're the only interesting thing in my life. It would be a shame if yours was cut short. Hmm, which reminds me. Your pitifully short human lifespan might be a bit of an issue. I suppose I'll have to turn you. Maybe if you behave enough, I'll consider it. In fact, if you behave enough, I might even let you see your loved ones. I could keep them here as my thralls. But enough about that. We should head home. I know it's just about time for you to watch your favorite show, Anne. I will give you the privilege, the utmost privilege, of you watching it with me.